Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Rohit. Today we will talk about the CMDB health. So this is the continuation part of the CMDB session. So if you have not guys watched my previous video, please go through those videos because these are the interrelated topics for those. So today we will talk about the CMDB health. Um, so in the CMDB, healthy CI is a very important topic. So whenever the CI is getting created into the service now, whenever the CI is getting updated into service now, the CI should be accurate, correct and compliance. So our case, uh, the CI health is divided into the three parts. One is the completeness, another is the compliance and third is the correctness. So these three, completeness, compliance and correctness is major a CM, uh, CI health. So first of all, whenever a CI is created, the CI must have filled all the required fields. So if the CI is discovered from the discovery, CA should have uh, filled all the requirement, required fields. So in case if the CI is not filled with the required fields, it will be created and it will be um, uh, captured in the CMDB health report. Next is the recommended fields. So whenever the CI is getting created, there should be some recommended field that should be filled up. In, if, in any cases, those are not maybe mandatory, but these all fields are recommended. If any cases the recommended fields are not filled, in that case, CI will be, um, uh, CMDB health scan will be captured out. Next is the compliance. So whenever the CI will be created, there should be certain data like the C for the computer, the CPU should be 2 CPU and the minimum RAM should be 4 GB, something like that. That will be the compliance. If in any cases those is not matches, so in that case, it will be captured in the audit result. The correctness, so now in the correctness, so whenever the CI will be created, CI should not be duplicated. So same CI should not be multiple times created. In that case, you need to be uh, do the identification properly. Identification rule needs to be written properly. So if any cases the duplicate CI is there, the correctness will be um, captured. Correctness, the duplicate CI will be captured. Next is the orphans rules. Whenever the CI will be created, CI relationships and the CI status should be properly um, updated and created. In any cases, those are not message. Those are called um, orphans CI. And the last, not the least, the stillness rules. Whenever the CI will be created, the CI should be frequently updated. So in this uh, configuration item, um, by default, the stillness rule is the 60 days. If the CI is not updated in 60 days, the CI stillness rule will capture those and it will be go for the CMDB health scan report. So this is my service now instance and um, if I open the CI class manager, last few days we talk about that. Um, so if I open the computer, uh, class as a CI, in a CI class manager, last few days we talk about identification reconciliation. Now we'll uh, talk about the CMDB health. So if I open the health, you can see mostly they have three tabs. One is the completeness, compliance, correctness. I will talk later in this health inclusion rules. We'll discuss that later. But if you see the health have three tabs, one is the completeness, compliance and correctness. We'll talk these steps today first. So in a computer, if I click the completeness, if you see there are three tabs, first of all, this first tab is the required field scorecard. So whenever a CI will be created, there, if there is no required field is there, their upper threshold is the 67% and the lower threshold is the 33%. So you will be able to see a marked uh, color, color dimension for the upper and the lower um, scorecard. We'll show that. Next is the recommended field. In this uh, computer, we have not created any or we have not added any field or any uh, data as a recommended field. Once we added uh, some fields in the recommended and then run the report, it will be detected into our CMDB results. And if you see the recommended field scorecard, what it is saying that 33% is the best case like less than 33 percent is the best case uh, if the CI, uh, if they more than 33 to 67, then 
it is the medium at a risk and then more than 67 it's a critical so whenever the total number of ci and the comp uh, and their uh, recommended fields uh, detected ci is more than 67 percent that case in the critical so let's see first a quick example so last few days jetbook dealing this is the our ci we are talking about so let's open this ci first so in this ci what we are going to do here what i am going to do here i am going to remove this data as a waste version and then save that so there is right now there is no waste version for that ci and what i am going to do i am going to make this field mandatory it means that whenever the ci came to or whenever the ci is updated at that time there was no waste for this ci so i just go to the dictionary and making these fields add a mandatory so I'll go to this mandatory checkbox. I'll click the OS version field and click mandatory and save that. So it means that uh, this CI, if you see this is the computer CI, this CI OS fields version field is a mandatory, but in some reason the OS fields value is not populated. In that case, our health scan report will be detected and it will be captured. Secondly, the recommend if you see the OS service pack, this is this also doesn't capture right. In that case, we'll set the OS service pack recommendation recommendation field. So let's see first. I'll go, we'll go to the CI class manager and in this completeness, I'll go to this recommended field score required field scorecard. You don't need to do anything. It will be system will automatically detect all the required field recommended fields. I will add this OS service pack. So I'll type that OS service pack. So these fields I am telling that as my recommendation. So this field should be added in a, in my recommendation. Okay. Now if I go to this CMDB health report. So this as I mentioned uh, in the document, this is the CMDB health report result. And here I'll put this CI name. So we'll copy these and search here in a CI. So right now there is no data for there is no compliance issue basically for this CI. Now I go to this uh, CMDB dashboard and run the job. So if you if you go to this CMDB dashboard uh, by clicking the CMDB view, there is a third tab called CMDB Health Dashboard Jobs. And our case we are detecting right now we are dealing with this uh, completeness. We should run this completeness schedule job to detect these issues because our case this CI required field is not there and this recommended field is also not there. I'll go and then execute now this skip. And after that, if I refresh that, so after that, if I refresh here, you can see that CMDB health, re health result it's detected. The matrix is the required matrix and another matrix is the recommended matrix. And what the description says is that the following required field is not populated. That is called OS version, which is not populated. And the following recommended field, OS service pack, is not uh, populated. So a health scan report is detected. And because of this result, our matrices or our overall report will be changes every time okay so it's although for only one but whenever these changes will be happen for when this it will be changes for most of the ci in that case the completeness will be decreased it means that uh, 74 percent uh, ci have completeness and and the rest of the 26 percent doesn't have the completeness it means that either they don't have the recommended field there or they don't have any um, data so we can see that in this cmdb Instead of uh, doing that, we can click all. Here we can define that matrices is one is the required or uh, recommended. If I run that 1481 uh, data or 1481 uh, data is generated and they have some issues and that's that's the 24 percent of your data. Okay, so let's talk about next. We'll talk about the compliance here. So if I go to the compliance, you can see first we have these certification filter. So as I mentioned, that in the completeness we have the audit. 
okay so uh, in that uh, in this case we have a compliance call um, all windows Sur computer so if i open this certificate filter that this audit will be applicable for operating system is windows if the operating system is windows the audit will be run and then in the template what it is saying that so in this certificate template what it is saying that they have multiple version one two three one two three so three is the latest version which is active rest all two are actually deactivated what the template is saying that let's open this template this template is saying you can see this is the activate right now this says template is saying that if the computer is the windows system and then the ram should be more than thousand and the cpu count should be greater than zero this is the audit so whenever a uh, ci will be created in the computer table and their operating system is the windows their ram should be more than thousand and their cpu count should be uh, more than one okay and it does not uh, have any condition on the relationships you can create a relationship called the windows system should have a um, relationship with something some other ci that you also also can add so this is the template so this ci in this ci if the ram is 5000 so it is a compliant ci the CPU count is a 1, that is a compliant CI. Okay, in case, in case it is not matches this condition, then the CI will be non-compliance and there will be one audit report generated. Let's, uh, let's, I'll, I'll do that. Here they are saying that RAM should be greater than 1000 and we will set that RAM equal to 500 and then save this CI and OS version put something like that and save that and now so now if we run this uh, the compliance uh, job it should be detected and it should show in this uh, result so we'll show that i'll quickly show that so let's show match right now it have these two uh, recommendation and rec uh, this one now go back to that and i'll run this compliance one so this is the compliance job i'll execute now and it should detect because of this RAM uh, less than 1000 RAM, it will be generated an audit. Let's okay. see, and you can see that there is a one audit matrix is generated and audit report is captured this one. And if I open this one, it will be say that, uh, so it is captured because of this uh, value mismatch. One is that CPU count, which is zero, and another is the RAM. So that's the reason it's captured. So after compliance, we'll talk about the correctness. So if I click on the correctness, uh, you can see uh, there are mostly a duplicate CI scorecard, which is nothing but uh, whenever the CI will be gener generated in the system, system will automatically detect the duplicate CI. You don't have to do anything for that. But if you see upper score and the lower score, these two are defined on how your dashboard will be looks like the color combination. So upper score is the 67, it will be, and then the lower score is 33 person. So here you don't need to uh, define any rule or any uh, uh, data, okay? Let's talk about the orphan CI. So orphan CI is a uh, one of the condition where you can define that the CI is an orphan if that condition is not matches. Like the CI is not operational or the CI doesn't have any proper uh, relationship. In that case, you can detect that as the orphan CI. So this is our um, computer table, right? So I just added the operational status fields here. So we'll say that the CI is an orphan if the operation status is uh, rather than operation, uh, operational or something like that. So what we'll do, I'll just change to that uh, non-operational and save that. And here in this orphan CI, I'll create a rule that orphan dashboard will be detected that CI if the CI doesn't match the operational status is um, operational. So let's choose the field. Here we have an or condition. So if that condition is matches or this condition have to be matches, then it won't be orphan. Otherwise it will be orphaned. So we'll declare the relationship. I'll choose the any relationship and then here any classes. 
so that means that they should have at least one relationship that's what i mean to say here okay so just click that update here is the operate, uh, orphan ci scorecard scorecard is like their upper threshold and the lower threshold so you can create you can override your uh, own upper threshold lowest threshold this is nothing but to show the graphs on your um, cmdb view like whenever you click here the scorecard so if you see the 33 percent means that it is will be uh, this color if it will be the more than 33 percent this color will be this one and then this is the critical so this color denote this color will be denoted based on your scorecard now stainless uh, ci what is the stainless ci we talk about that stainless ci is that whenever a CI is not updated for a particular time. So like um, if the CI is not updated last 60 days, that will be a stainless CI. Our case, if I go to this uh, this CI and then click that show XML. And here, if I search with that updated by, it's today only updated, right? So what I'll do, I'll go to the stainless CI and then click new. So whenever I'm clicking new, it will be overwrite the uh, uh, second. So what I can do, I can just for that example, I can put that uh, five second or five second. Okay. So CI should be updated for five seconds. So let's see that um, our this CI also can be detected or not. So what I mean to say that stainless CI should be all the CI should be updated in each every five seconds but in a actual real time scenario it should be have some minimum time call 30 days or 60 days next again the stain, uh, stainless ci scorecard this is also same to show the color combination the upper threshold is the 63 67 percent and lower threshold is 33 percent if you want to override or if you want to change so this is coming from the cmdb ci for computer if you want to change you can create your own uh, uh, scorecard and then override that now let's go back to our dashboard and go back to this job schedule dashboard job and at uh, this time we'll run the correctness schedule job so click this one and click execute now so it should detect our um, two condition one is the orphan and another is the stainless scorecard uh, stainless rules these two matrix will be detected this ci so let's execute now so once i in, uh, um, uh, execute i should go back to the cmdb dashboard health scan so once we refresh that, you can see these two new, uh, for this uh, 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 CI, these two new uh, matrices is generated. One is a stainless one. What it is saying that the CI was not updated in five seconds. As you mentioned in the stainless CI, every five seconds it should have updated. Otherwise, the CMDB health result should be detected and it should consider as a wrong CI. Secondly is that uh, if you see, um, we have defined the orphan CI because the, the CI should have some status like the status should be operational. That is not matches. So that's why it is detected our, um, um, that CI as a, detected as an orphan CI. So now if you go back to the CMDB dashboard, you will be able to see this is your CMDB dashboard. These three are basically is the completeness, compliance and correctness is the overall, uh, which is the this is the overall calculation and these are the splitted part. So this is correctness, this is compliance and this is the um, uh, correctness and this is the compliance. So these are uh, these and each dashboard is showing that this is the recommended are 27 percent and the required is the 26 percent and this is the audit which is saying that 18 is 89 percent and the duplicate ci it's saying the 11 percent orphan ci is are uh, defining that 30 percent and the stainless ci is the 99 percent because we updated as the five second every five second it should have updated that's the reason the stainless ci is risk is increases so that's how that cmdb dashboard is play a very major role to identify the ci health so that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a great day, guys.